Good morning, peeps. It is about 20 past six on day 40 of the PCT. Um, we literally camped about 0.2 away from the water source because we expected that to be packed and there was quite a few tents up there. And we had a nice quiet morning, which was great. Uh, so we just filled up. This is the longest section. I think it's like six days. Uh, I stink. And uh, the packs are really heavy because there's big water carriers. We've got to do at least 20 miles every single day. And it's up and down. So it's quite challenging. Um, but yesterday's walk through the forest at the end was lovely. And... Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting to Ridgecrest. I'm so excited. There was like 600 miles yesterday, which means now I'm under 100 miles to go. So Kennedy Meadows is, oh, I'm so determined to get there now. Blisters, shin splints, Achilles heel problems, whatever. I'll crawl if I have to. Um, I'm, I've just got to get there. So yeah, I think we're going to go to Ridgecrest, which is in about three days time. So yeah, a few more tenting bits and then into town last resupply and that's it on my way to kennedy meadows right i'm just waiting for uh bloom who's just brushing her teeth and uh, i'll see you in a little while all right let's get this done Just checking in. Uh, we're about 11 and a half miles in now, and uh, we're out of the forest and we're going back down to the desert floor. As you can see, it's pretty hot. I've had my umbrella up, uh, but then it started getting windy, so I just put it down again. I haven't checked in for a while, so I thought I would do. We sat and had uh, some lunch about quarter to 11. <laughs> Uh, but it was a nice water place to have water, so that's what we did. I'm gonna be honest, I was earwigging somebody else's conversation, and uh, this gang were talking about um, the transport situation out of Kennedy Meadows, and they're saying it's pretty dire. Uh, I know I shouldn't listen to rumours, but I can't afford to get to Kennedy Meadows and then get stuck there for a few days waiting for transport because it means I'll miss my flight back to the UK. So uh, that's on my mind. Still not what, still not sure what to do. I've got two more days on this section before I get to walk apart, so I don't need to make a decision for a couple of days. But uh, that's where my brain is at at the moment, wondering do I stop before and go just go to Ridgecrest maybe spend a couple of days in LA. I've never been to LA uh, before I get a train back to San Diego on my flight home. I don't know. It just seems bad getting this far and not doing that last little bit. So anyway, any suggestions are welcome. Saying that by the time you watch this, I've probably made my decision already. Uh, Health-wise, I feel a bit beat up to be honest. Achilles are still sore, but not as bad as they were. But because I put tape all on the bottom of my foot and up the side and up my calf, I then got a blister on the side where the tape was. Uh, and then that spread throughout 
uh, the back of my heel and that's really painful uh, especially as I start and then because I've been not sitting on my heel I've been pushing on the front of my foot just to stop the pain I'm now getting pain across the front of my foot as well so my right leg is not too clever at the moment but uh, I've still got Bloom with me she's putting up with me moaning <laughs> Uh, but yep, yeah, not too far to go now. We've got about 10 miles, a nice water cache and uh, lovely sunshine. <laughs>